Hi, this is Andres, and today I want to show you how to interact with Dataverse as if it were a Microsoft SQL Server. This is a lifesaver when you need to run reports against Dataverse tables or do massive updates or deletes with the data. And that's exactly what we are going to see with an example. All right, first, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me a lot and also will help with your karma. So here we are, we have an orders table and other items. Uh, the way this is related is that we have an end one-to-end relationship so that we have for one order we can have multiple order items let's see that exactly in here we click into an order and here we have other items related to this parent order now you see we have these fields quote total that is blank currently this is true for all the orders that we have in the system and this should be the sum of for the order items all the children records the sum of this column line item total now for the newer orders uh, we can have a power to me flow that will calculate automatically this number based on the children items and this is a common practice so for example when we detect a change in one of these columns for a particular children item child item then we calculate for the parent the sum of the whole column and put it into this field common practice but now let's imagine that you are in a production productive system uh, and you have thousands of records where okay yeah the new calculation is going to work for the new records but what about the historic values the records before you added that additional functionality so how are you going to update this column with that calculation well you may think of building a port in the flow wouldn't recommend that because it's going to take a lot of time doing that prone to errors and also you are going to hit uh, maybe depending on the volume of the that you're working with you may hit some um, limits uh, api limits we'll see that in the next video hopefully uh, if you don't create the, the flow carefully another out of the box solution would be using this functionality open with excel online and this comes very handy to edit the Data in bulk. However, for this particular scenario, it won't help us because this quote total depends on children items. So what I would do if I didn't have any other tools would be to use the export to Excel static worksheet functionality for orders and for all the items and then work with the Excel file so that I would get the calculations because we of course can match the records with the parent order with the orders and then um, with Excel formulas calculate the totals and then import with the out of the box import from Excel import the new Excel updating the data with these calculations that would be an option not the fastest but certainly a good option where we wouldn't be wasting our time building a port my flow that would only run once well instead of that and this is the topic of the video we are going to use a sql command a sql sentence here beautiful these lines execute once pretty reusable for other projects let's take a look at how this works so uh, of course you're, you're seeing that um with the sql for cds which is a tool that connects to dataverse as if it were a sql server we have to connect to an environment this is my environment a developer environment and then we are interacting with the data uh, take a notice here that we are using the logical names of the tables and the columns. If you don't know how to do that easily, you can here, for example, if you go to inside a record, there's this plugin, uh, Level Up for Dynamics 365, that you can take a look at the logical names very easily. And then this is copy paste, a great tool for your browser, Chrome or Edge. Name again here, Level Up for Dynamics 365. 65 power apps. All right, so let's go back to external toolbox and the SQL for CDNs tool. So what we are going to do here is basically do the update and we have to update this column, the quote total. And the uh, quote total is going to be the sum of this line item total column as we saw. And basically this is it. So uh, the set sentence can have sub queries just as this one. And this is sub query where we are getting the data from the other items. If we execute this, let me so let me go back here orders you see it's empty if we execute this now execute important is confirm uh, dialog because probably we are going to be working in prod just to all of course this is going to be fine because there are only six records and if i, if I hit refresh boom you got the calculation ready in here it's here with the sum of this column for the children items before finishing the video i want to take a moment to talk to you about XRM toolbox this 
toolbox is actually the tool that holds this SQL for CDS tool. So SQL for CDS is just this part, let's say, and this is a tool included in the XRM toolbox. So here, SQL for CDS, if we, this is the actual uh, tool inside the toolbox that we are using to connect to the database and interact with it as if it were a SQL server. But there are plenty of other tools here. These are the ones that I have got installed to the library. You have plenty of them. If you see in their website, they have 30 tools that come with the tool and hundreds others, more than hundreds, created by the community. Now, think of a moment. We are very lucky that we have, we are part of a community of markets of users, developers, champions, etc. People who have used their time to provide us with these amazing tools that make our lives easier and our jobs more effective. So we are better at our jobs thanks to the effort of the community. This is awesome. Take a moment to reflect on that and say thank you. I do that every day because really these tools help a lot. And I, uh, I encourage, I want to encourage you to take a look at the tools that are in here available. Attribute Factory, uh, for example, this one that is already selected in here. This is great, for instance, to interact with, uh, well, create tables, columns inside a table using an Excel template. Absolutely fabulous and recommended quite a lot, but there's plenty of other tools. Auto Number Manager, VP of Manager for Wizards Express Flows. That's great. Uh, well, plenty of other tools. Some of them more useful than others. Of course, this is developed by the community, but this is free for you to use and completely awesome. Donate if you if you want and um, download the latest version, keep it alive, and if you can, contribute to the community in any way, because really everyone later will value your contribution. Well, thanks a lot for reaching out to the end, and I hope this was useful for me. Uh, this tool was absolutely game-changing back when I discovered it. Um, and for newer developers, I know I've been sharing that with new developers that are coming to the platform and they didn't know about this tool. It's completely game-changer for them as well. So please share the video if you uh, find that uh, useful and share it with your colleagues if they don't know the tool. Start using it because it will change uh, the way you look at Dataverse as well. All the knowledge you will get because you will get more familiar with the metadata on the way everything works together inside in the system. And uh, well, besides that, thanks again. Hit the like and the subscribe button. See you in the comments. Let me know uh, your thoughts. And if you have any questions or uh, you want me to talk about any other topics, please also leave a comment to let me know. Have a great one. Bye. And thanks again.